Hey guys, welcome to Pelton Pits. I had the opportunity to go dove hunting with dad. So what do you do with your doves after you're done? You make dove poppers. You guys want to see this? Here we go. <laughs> All right, so we got a special guest today. Drum roll please, Pops. <laughs> Good old bird shooter. So today's all about dove poppers. Uh, me and dad had a luxury or a chance to go down to uh, Macon, Georgia with some family. Had an absolute blast. Shout out to them for inviting us. Uh, can't wait for next year. Um, definitely outshot dad probably, what, 10 to 1, something like that? Oh, I'm sure of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> sure of it. Every dove that we have here today was definitely dropped by me while dad was looking for his one bird that he never found. Are you still looking for it? It's still there? Make sure you tell them the Hilton and... Making George is probably the only time we've had doves put in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta edit that out. All right. So this is the idea. We made them last year. Loved them. Got a little barbecue seasons. The bacon, the cream cheese. Got some jalapenos done. We got the duck breast split out. Dad's going to try some, I mean, the dove breast. Dad's going to try some of the dove a different way. But I think this will be fantastic. I've got a little sweet cherry peppers that I thought about adding to them. So we're going to put those on a few to try them out because that sweetness should be pretty good. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get it together. Just showing you really quickly how we did the jalapenos. I'm going to keep the tips on. Just the tip. Now I'll just take a... You can use the same knife. Just come down through here and take all those veins and seeds out. I'm sure if you're a hunter, you already know how to clean your dove breast. If not, it's really simple. You just want to take your thumb. The meat is super tender. Just work down that breastplate. Just like anything, you're trying to get as much meat as possible. And we're just gonna tear it right out. Should look something like that. Obviously you have BBs in there, you'd get them out. But there we go, perfect little dove breasts. BBs, like from where you shot it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you shoot as good as I do, you shoot close to them, they die because of a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. Mine don't have babies there. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of his died that day. <laughs> Scare them to death. <laughs> We've saved two whole dub breasts for dad, so we're gonna just put a little uh, cue that on there, a little barbecue seasoning. Just take a piece of bacon, and we're just gonna wrap the whole thing up. And then just come back in here and just season up your bacon. Alrighty, simply enough, we're just gonna take some cream cheese, just trying to eyeball it here, stuff your jalapeno. You can make a cream cheese mix if you want to. For this one, I'm just gonna thinly slice some uh, cherry peppers. Something like that. Put your dove breast right on top. Just a touch of seasoning. Lay your jalapeno down. You're just gonna wrap it up just like you would a popper. Come back in and season it up. And you can use toothpicks if you need to to secure it. But that right there is a bacon wrapped dove jalapeno popper. All right, we have the Lone Star cranked up to about 275 degrees. Uh, we're rocking those smoking pecan pellets along with those hickory wood chips from Chris. Put them on here. Woo, that bad boy's going. And we'll check them in a couple minutes. And after they've been on the smoker for a little while, you can cook them as long as you want to, but I think we're looking good right here. So I'm just gonna pick out one. What do you think? Which one, Dad? This one right here. Yeah, well, I pick out the best one. <laughs> well, if we only pick out the one you shot, then that'd be the best one. Oh yeah. Ooh, that does look good. 
What do you have to cook it to a specific internal temp? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you did, it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> Is it recommended to cook it to a specific internal temp? I'm sure, like all poultry, 165 or more. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That cue that season a little sweetness. Yep. The dove are so tender. You take the uh, the veins and the seeds out of the jalapenos. You don't get it near as heat, but you get a little crunch. I want to find one really quick with the peppers in there. There we go. Try that. Let's go to that. Let's see. The little sweet peppers. Mm. Mm. Good. You can taste it, yeah. Let me take, give me that bite right there. Well, the pepper's out of this one, but you can taste the popper. Is there a little bit of dove in there? Just a little yeah. bit? <laughs> good job, Dad. We did good that day. There you go. That'll really be my bird, my bird getter. You, you Professional did, bird getter. You were a good bird dog that day. No, I, I know which ones I shot because I didn't eat the thing you did is complain about your gun not shooting. I bought you a brand new 20, a 20, a 12 gauge Maxim Humpback Ultimate. <laughs> Best gun out there for dove hunting. Well, this gun ain't no good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Bonus, if you can type in what he just said, <laughs> maybe try a free popper on us. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Come on, get you by this girl. We'll shift you a spot so I can Let me take her one. <laughs> I like the ones with the peppers in there.